So a friend of mine recently gifted me her collection. I'm going to share with you the entire experience from start to finish. Starting with a fast forward of me going through the entire thing. Starting now. So this collection was comprised of six fat pack sized boxes of cards. A mostly color organized, um, almost all modern sets. A lot of them are from the Innistrad era, era, some M12, some Zendikar. And here I'm pulling out the rares. Not that that matters because they all end up in the same, you know, same place anyway. Just, you know, color organized and alphabetized. But I am pulling them out just to show what we got. If you can keep up with the fast forward, that's great. Uh, if not, that's fine. I'm going to do a whole breakdown uh, as soon as the fast forward is done. Uh, but yeah, the Ori was a big hit. There's a Karn right there. That was excellent against the champion and the whole thing. Um, and a lot of these cards I didn't have because I wasn't playing Norris Era. So, very happy to have every single one of them. Uh, so thanks for watching, and let's, uh, let's move on to what we got. Alright, so here I have three piles of the rares uh, that we pulled from the collection. I've got uh, some... The bulk rares on the right, in the middle, in the black sleeves, I've got like two to five dollar rares. And anything higher than that, or in the heavy slips on the left, there, uh, a couple winners. Here we got a Fire Main Angel, pretty cool. Searing Meditation, seen that playing a couple EDH decks. Happy to see it here. Titanic Ultimatum, wow, this card, this has won me a couple games. Love that. Big green smash. I mean, red and white there too. Uh, it's a mere cut purse. Uh, never really seen it played. I'm not going to play it myself. Blazing Spectre. Happy to see. I'm happy to see anything that makes you discard. Undermine. Never use it, but eventually maybe it'll be a day. These guys here. Are these lords. I love seeing them. Definitely want to do some more him. Beacon of Destruction. When I saw this card at first, I'm like, what the hell is this? But, uh, it's the red beacon. <laughs> you know, I played a black one all the time, and I love it. And, uh, I forgot there even was a red one. Look at that. Corpse Jack Menace is up next. This card has really seen its time in the sun. Uh, happy to see it here. I made a deck for a buddy out of this card, but never for myself. Moonville Dragon. That's pretty cool. Cruel Ultimatum. Grixis Colors. Right there. Uh, man, this card, big swing. Changed the game right around. Core Jaden. Prevailer. Metalcraft Creep. All right. Extinguish All Hope. Destroy All Non-Enchantment Creatures. This card is going to be huge now uh, with the new set that just dropped. Very happy to see it. The Tide Maker. Uh, again, these cards here, these octopuses and leviathans and krakens. Love these cards. Love them. Aegis Angel. Pretty cool. I run one in my uh, Angel Demons Dragon EDH already. I'm going to just speed up a little fast here so a lot of these cards are ready. Ooh, here we go. Basalt Monolith. Uh, I do want to make a Power Monolith deck. Old school. Uh, but I got to be able to afford power artifacts to do that. So... Whatever. You know what? I got half of it right here. It's got to work on the other half, right? Uh, Eternity Vessel. Just life... Uh, your life goes back to whatever it was, or you gain whatever it was. I forget. Righteousness. Man, this card has been huge for me ever since the beginning, ever since I started playing. One mana, take out Shivens with a Bird of Paradise. Gotta love it. Here we go. Reverse damage. Okay. Blessed Reversal. Gain three life for each creature attacking you. Uh, look in the picture is uh, the guy slaughtering a bunch of goblins. Indestructibility, love seeing it. Again, it's plenty of places for the car like that in EDH. Uh, token generator here, Curse of Echoes. I love all these curse cards. Doomsayer, it's a token generator. Uh, Cleric makes uh, one ones, cool. O o always find a place for something like that. Elder of Laurels, just makes something huge, uh, very cool. Archon of Justice. You got all these exile abilities, um, you know, especially in EDH. Broodmate Dragon, two four four flyings uh, for six mana. Can't complain about that. Single removal doesn't take it out. I mean, you get half of it. Uh, great card. I don't know if it's a judge foil or a, a pre-release foil, maybe. I don't know. Silence. Wow. When this card first came out, I'm like, what? A white one white mana time walk. <laughs> you can't beat that. This card's gonna be a hundred dollars. But uh, never really the case. Ancient Hellkite, cool. 
spreading some fire around. Another one of these curse cards. Uh, I know there's coal cursed decks. You know, I don't know if I'll make one myself, but meh, maybe. Uh, more dragons. This collection. Most of the red cards were dragons, which is pretty cool. Ooh, Harvest Hetsegu. Uh, I don't know if I said that right, but man, if you uh, can double that damage, it's a one shot. Five mana, four three, tap, deal half the life of target player and damage. Thoughts of Ruin. Each player sacks a land for each card you have in your hand. Strong card. Definitely going to run it somewhere. I just got to find a home for it. Shiv and Hellkite. Mordant Dragon. Fledgling. Uh, Thunder Dragon. Bogar and Hellkite. This guy is still kicking. Remember when he first came out? I forgot it was in Scourge or something like that. Uh, Killmouth. Dragon Master Outcast. Man, when I first saw that card, I was like, what? You get a 5-5 five, five flyer every turn just for it being, like, turn 6 uh, and up? Uh, even shorter if you could pump some uh, lands into play? Scrambleverse. Man, this card, I thought it would be, like, banned in EDH by now, but no. Nah. Uh, another Dragon. Mana Barbs. Another card I just love to see if they're still printing. I mean, I don't know how long that was now. I forget what set that was, but... Ah, Chandra's Phoenix. I want to make a whole, like, reanimation... EDH deck, or just you can't keep me down. Uh, so I'm very happy to have this card. It's gonna be a, a sweet addition. Any Phoenix, Captain the Watch, man. People do not give soldiers the credit they're due. Uh, good card, Sarah Avenger. It's like a super two mana Sarah Angel that you just can't cast uh, first, second, or third turn. But later in the game, you just poop right into play. Two mana, real cool. Uh, Touch of the Eternal, okay, Voracious Dragon, um, more dragons, Hoarding Dragon, steals an artifact, I think, or gets one out of your deck, I forget. Uh, Johnny Vegent, cool. Another Killmouth, ooh, some sweet-ass uh, dual lands. Well, not real duels, but, you know, the two-color lands. Um, what we got here? Lay down a Lightning, Beacon of Destruction again. Uh, some more dragons. Soul Blast is a good finisher. Another Silence. That's great. <clears throat> Altar of the Brood. Um, some Portal. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Corrosive Portal? Yeah, okay. Quicksilver Dragon. Inkwell Leviathan. Big 7-Eleven Flying Tramper Monster. Uh, some Shrine action here. Another one of these Lords coming up. Um, the shrine cards were great back in the day when they first came out. Nowadays, not so strong. Seemed like this guy. Vampiric Dragon. When he came out, oh, wow. I mean, it was Odyssey, you know? It was just after what? I don't know. Mirage, something like that. Mirage, Tempest. I think it's the, the Tempest Cycle. Strong card for its time, you know? Uh, heck. So <laughs> eight mana for 5-5 five, five Flyer uh, that could just ping things. Great card. Got play, too. Uh, I'm just going to go a little faster here. Just show you the cards. Another Phoenix. Definitely going to throw that in the deck. Oh, door of Nothingness. Man, I've never... Door to nothingness to somebody, but um, I hopefully hopefully will now. This is something I attempted to do though. Uh, I made an undead zombie mill deck. Oh, it was terrible. Uh, everyone told me it was terrible, and it really was. And I'm glad it doesn't exist anymore. I might try again one day. Pearl Lake Ancient. I've sold this card before. I don't know if it was me on the pack or something like that, but um, I always thought it was cool. I never actually held one myself, and reading it. It's Flash 6-7, Prowess, so it gets bigger, you can't counter it, uh, and you could uh, per, you could bounce it back to your hand. So it's got this, you know, protection, um, evasion. Uh, great card. Uh, hopefully I find a place for it. And it is Leviathan, so it fits a theme I'm working on. Another one of these promos. Uh, Mizium Mortars, okay. Overlord, just smack everything before. Rakdos, Lord of Riots, love him. Oh, Grove the Guardian. Man, you make 8-8 eight, eight tokens, and with this guy, boom, combo, combo, combo. You just, uh, I mean, I should not, guess it's not that cool, but I think it's nice. You make your 8-8 eight, eight tokens, and then with the uh, Slinch of Voice, you just copy the tokens. Um, pump out 8-8s eight, all day for 3 mana. You really can't beat that. Uh, legendary Creature Dryad, it could be your commander, and you can just, you know, run these other cards and make these giant tokens. Ah, Sky Summoner. This guy was a uh, commander in a jank battle we played recently. Um, strong card. Very strong card. Ooh, nice board wipe here. Merciless Eviction. Decimate. Oh, man. I run this in every EDH deck that I can squeeze it in. Anything with red and green in it. Uh, just nice removal for four mana. 
Um, Blade Wing the Risen, another card that was cool when it came out. Not so much anymore. Some more dragons over here. And boom, that's it for our, uh, I guess, common rares. You know, the, the rares that hopefully you could timmy something together. Uh, the rares that do matter a little more right here, these guys get play. Uh, Priest of Urbask, I actually don't know if he gets any play, but he's cool. You know, you play uh, the red medallion, the ru ruby medallion, and you're paying two mana for a 2-1 that gives you three red mana. Uh, works great with Storm and whatnot. Um, haven't actually made the deck myself, but maybe in a, a Dragon Storm deck or something like that. <clears throat> Good card. Um, yeah, uh, might, might happen. Might happen for me. Chromatic Lantern. Man, you can never have enough of these. Uh, I can't. I've got like 20 EDH decks. Many of them are more, more than one color. And it, throw in any EDH deck has more than one color. Uh, Royal Elemental. Another great uh, EDH card at least. Uh, six mana, which happens really easy in EDH. Landfall, steal a creature. Uh, four from a whole play set. Not sure when to play a deck of four, but happy to have them. Uh, Metamorph. Wow, another great card. Uh, four mana. Copy an artifact or a creature. It's just very strong. Kakusho, Evening Star. Uh, I actually used to run this in a crazy reanimator deck I had for a while. But um, I took that apart, and I don't know. Maybe he'll find a home again one day. Nickel Bolas Planeswalker. Whew, eight mana mana <laughs> casting cost. Uh, but it's plus three. It's destroying non token creature, or non creature permanent. Um, which, you know, those are the most pesky permanents, are non creatures. So. That's pretty cool. And you can steal creatures if you need to. Laboratory Maniac. I haven't really found, you know, the sweet spot for this card. But everyone else is like, this is how you win the game. Uh, can't say they're wrong. You know, the decks work. Um, happy to see him. Maybe if I end up with a playset, set, I will, uh, I'll try something with him. You know, but not there yet. Visions of Beyond. This is a, it's a, it's a cantrip. It's one man draw card. But if a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, it's an Ancestral Recall. You know, the uh, Power 9 card that goes for like 2 grand, plus uh, 1 blue draw 3. Yeah, that's what this turns into. And no one seems to care. I mean, it's, it's foil, so it's probably worth like 10 bucks. I don't know. Oh, Final Judgment. This is how you get rid of creatures. Especially in EDH where everyone has Shroud or Hexproof or Indestructible. This just exiles all creatures. Uh, boom. 6 mana, they're gone. So, happy to see this. This will definitely see play. Uh, in one of my EDH decks, I guess. Bloodline Keeper. I might have a vampire deck sitting around somewhere that this might find a home in, but I don't even know anymore. I've got so many random decks in different formats. Erebus the Blind, uh, Binding Blade. Another great card. Um, hopefully, I will uh, actually use this. Here we got Thalia, uh, the Guardian of Throbin. Two mana, two one, first strike, says no. Uh, Gilded Lotus. This card I expect to have a nice, you know, comeback now that Devotion decks are coming back in. World Gorge of Dragon. Oh man, this combo deck, I've seen it played so many times and I always loved it. Never made it for myself. Maybe now it could happen. And this Teferi Time Reveler is, uh, is what I took out of my 1EDH deck. Uh, this is where the Vodalkan Ori was. Um, so that card I was so excited to get that I actually already threw it in deck. Um, and here's our final four. Uh, we got a Foil Grand Arbiter. Just says no. You know, great uh, countermeasure card. Next up, Exquisite Blood. Uh, it's part of that two card combo. Again, just uh, you get that and the other card out. I what it's called. You just win. Skittles, the Blight Dragon. I've already got one in my Infected EDH, uh, so now I got this guy. And our number one winner, Karn. This guy's the big daddy, the whole collection. So happy to have him. It'd be really easy finding a place for him. Wow. And that's it. That's the collection I've been gifted. This is Baron Nick, and I'm done here.